From Mr. Lin's speech, we have seen that significant change have already taken place in various downstream electricity consumption scenarios. The electricity system is a complex system that requires instantaneous balance and coordination between power generation, power transmission, power consumptions, and energy storage to maintain the stability of the electricity system. But as a reserve of the electricity system, how will energy storage maintain real-time balance of source, grid, load? Let's welcome Mr. Philip Hernandez to deliver a speech on development of battery energy storage system technology. Mr. Hernandez is a managing director of FRVX, dedicated to explore and develop new business models for FRV in the frame of renewable energy sector. The objective is to create sustainable models based on concepts like a battery energy storage system, hybridization, virtual power plant, hydrogen, or energy as a service. Mr. Hernandez, please. Hello. First of all, let me introduce briefly uh, who is F4B. F4B is a leading company providing renewable energy service across the industry. We look uh, for the excellence to be able to provide sustainable economics and accessible solution to everyone. We have presence in five continents with offices in Australia, Middle East, uh, South of uh, Europe and Latin America. We have uh, done more than 50 projects planned and uh, investment above uh, 3.5 billion uh, US dollars with uh, more than 3 gigawatts of installed capacity. And in FRB we have FRBX, what is our innovation platform. On, with this unit we work to create new uh, service and business models uh, based on the most disruptive technologies to boost the energy transition. We are mainly focused on three sectors, the energy storage, the green hydrogen, and the digital services with the demand aggregation and virtual power plants. And as success story, we have the the deployment of uh, storage projects in UK. We have actually two projects under operation and one under construction. This last one will be the biggest project in storage project in Europe. And we are proud of our projects under operation as they have been a uh, name like the best uh, storage projects in UK in the last two months. Also, we are replicating the same history in uh, Australia with one project under construction and another two very large projects in very advanced development state. And now I will try to explain what are the development trends that we see in the storage side. I will use some examples to illustrate it. First one is uh, the integration of uh, distributed energy on the grid. In some countries like Australia, where uh, there are a lot of installed capacity behind the meter, we have started to see how during the solar peak hours, the grid face a, a demand problem. You can see in the graph how uh, during October, the net demand in South Australia was negative during the peak hours of the day. It is a huge problem for the system, but it's something that is not punctual. You, we can see how we, the forecast so that will be a very common situation in the future in Australia. So to manage that, I think is the system will need to integrate large scale batteries on the grid to be able to increase this demand and also lowering the evening peak, but also 
focus in the integration of behind the meter batteries to be able the, the prosumers to manage their own electricity. Another problem is the seasonality. The demand and the generation has become very seasonal in a lot of the countries and it is creating serious uh, energy price problems. We can see how in Australia, again, uh, the capture prices by some wind projects during September, October, the end of the summer, was negative. It is uh, putting in risk the whole financial model of this uh, technology and these projects. So what is required, what is needed by the systems, by the generators, is a storage capacity that is able to manage the energy from low demand, low prices seasons to the high demand uh, months, just to secure the viability of the projects in the long term. And finally, uh, provide grid stability. Uh, with the uh, dismantling of the thermal energy plants, the system is losing their uh, inertia. And we can see an example of what happened in UK on July when there were a non-plant uh, sudden disconnection of a, a nuclear power plant with 3% of the, of the generation at this moment and the frequency dropped very quick. In a normal situation, it will generate a blackout of the system, but thanks to the uh, storage uh, capacity installed in the system, uh, this project was able to inject energy immediately in the system, keep, keeping the lights on. So it's a good example how the grid operator will need more and more uh, storage capacity in the system to warranty the stability in the long term. So thanks so much.